Every week, the experts at Superior Pools of Southwest Florida share the latest trends in outdoor living spaces, including custom designs, ideas, and innovations. Watch this inspiration and transformation come to life thanks to our expert opinions and tips, and improve your own outdoor paradise. This is Home Sweet Home, presented by Superior Pools. Hi, my name is Seth. I'm sales manager here at Superior Pools and I've been with the company for about three years. Hi, my name is Danny. I'm a design consultant here at Superior and I've been with the company for five years. Today on Home Sweet Home Superior Pools, we are going to be visiting different construction sites and showing you our working crews along with showing you who Superior is. How you doing? My name is Larry Lipke with Superior Pools. I'm the construction manager. And this is Lee Chuck. Lee is our site foreman. Been with us for 17 years. Today we're gonna take you on our second phase of the pool construction, which is our plumbing. So Lee, if you wanna just start it off and just explain to us uh, what we got going on right now. Yes, uh, this is the second step uh, to start making a pool. And uh, like you see, they already dig the trench for the plumbing, but before they dig the trench, they have to take all the forming boards around the pool. Then they dig the trench and laying the pipes for the plumbing. The purpose of the plumbing is to take the water out from the pool and bring it back. You know, our standard pool is, it's a three line pool. But in this one, we're gonna put five lines because we are adding two jets and one uh, water feature. And all this, piping have to be plumbed right to the pool so so this pool could work really nicely all right so as you can see what he's talking about is we got two jets right here and on that raised area is a sheer descent so you know it's a nice water feature to have on the raised area what the guys are working on now is they're going to be uh, tying in that um, line right there for that water feature and all the pipes that we trench in the ground are all going to be leading through this trench here along the side of the house over to the other side where we got the pool equipment going to be set. Different size pipes that we use and all of our pools, it's all two inch pipe, okay? And that's for all the water flow. And we use inch and a half for the connections at our return lines. And we also have conduit that can be running for all the power for all the lights. So in this pool here, we're going to have two, two lights and that comes standard in all of our pools, all right? So we got a, a light right there and a light over here on this side. And what they're gonna be doing is running all their conduit over to the equipment to where all of our power's gonna be ran and that's where our control panel is gonna be set up on the house, right next to the equipment. This main box right here that you see that he got tied in, this is his skimmer. And what the skimmer does, it has a suction for the top layer of the water. Lee, can you explain a little yes, bit of that? that's uh, for cleaning the top. You know, all the debris that was floating on top of the pool, that's catched on the skimmer and we have on the bottom of the pool there, we have a main drain that sucks the water too and clean the bottom of the, of the pool. Uh, those piping that's sticking on the wall, that's gonna be return line. And we have another pipe that was going out, that's gonna be the overflow. That's what gonna keep the level of the water to the level we want to cut that pipe on the. And Lee, on our standard for all of our pools, how many returns do we put on all of our pools? Our uh, standard pool is uh, four, four returns on each pool that we put on the pool. Yep. And we always, on our, all of our poles, standard is two lights and four returns. So for us, I mean, that's huge because most places we only get one light and three returns. So we're adding that extra return for more flow into your pool. And if the customer need more lights or more return, we add it to the, to the pool too. This is really the gist of it, guys. I mean, um, what we got going on here is we have our open trenches running all of our plumb to the equipment. And this is the, all where the, the pump and the filter, this is our manifold for the plumbing. And that's gonna be where the pump and the filter and everything's gonna be set. And that's kind of, after the guy finished, they're gonna start backfilling all the dirt, all the trench, and they're gonna compact the uh, dirt to get it ready for, for the next step for the putter. Stay tuned for more Home Sweet Home presented by Superior Pools. Superior Pools of Southwest Florida have been building pools in Florida since 2001 and have constructed over 5,000 pools. From Sarasota to Naples, 
we are recognized as a top pool builder and number one in customer service and have been voted to have the number one pool in the world the last two years. A pool signifies relaxation and our superior designs and execution will provide you with true luxury living. Visit our Fort Myers office, serving Lee to Collier counties, or our Port Charlotte office, serving Charlotte to Manatee counties. Join the rest, build with the best. Contact us to start building your dream pool today. Based on tile, Tampa Bay's largest selection of natural stone. Specializing in travertine and marble, both for interior and exterior use, with over 20 million square feet of revolving stock, we're sure we have your project covered. Check out one of our exclusive products, such as tiramisu. Travertine, your ideal pool deck material, does not retain heat. Therefore, it's cool on your feet during those hot Florida months. Durability? Remember, it will outlive us all. Check out our newly renovated showroom in Orlando or our brand new 100,000 square foot showroom and warehouse in Tampa. Enjoying the outdoors is what living in Florida is all about. And at Absolute Aluminum, we're in the business of making your outdoor living dreams a reality. We can transform your space into a stunning retreat with open view cages, adjustable pergolas, outdoor kitchens, and many other products. Everything we do is completely custom, maximizing your space to fit your project with our extensive design capabilities. Contact us today or visit our showroom located in Venice, Florida. Hi, how are you doing today? Uh, this, at this point in the stage of construction, we are gonna be focusing on uh, the footer, the forming of the footer, and pretty much the foundation of the decking. Uh, so right now, I just kinda wanna talk, uh, you know, once we, you know, finish plumbing, we do the deck grade here, uh, next step will be the forming of the footer. So here we have, uh, pretty much right here is the 12 by 12 footers, our standard footer we do. Uh, you know, the reasons, uh, it is per county code, that is a 12 by 12 footer with one standard number five rebar. Uh, different counties uh, have different regulations on the sizing of their footer and how many rebars are in it. So if you walk with me, uh, we're gonna, from the 12 by 12 on the back side and the sides here, we did go do an extended footer. Pretty much, you know, the reasonings for this is, you know, with the grade and everything like that. But I am gonna hand you off to Lee here. He's gonna explain more in depth of, you know, what's the reason that we did do the extended footer on the backside and the sides of this uh, deck. Lee? Yes, uh, the only reason we did uh, the extended footer here because like if you, as you see, grade is low. We have to bring down the grade. And that's why we make a 18 inch footer in here. So we got uh, the water, the dirt didn't wash out. Okay. Well, what is, a, what is a, you know, the actual footing of the deck? Uh, what is that actually intended for and why do we, you know, what do we do it for? The purpose of the footer is to hold the deck and the cage that's going to go on top, you know, the structure of the cage to support the cage and the, and the deck. That's the purpose okay. yep. of the footer. Yeah. Just in case, uh, like I said, like Lee was saying, because the grade is so low on the surrounding areas of the deck, we did have to extend it down uh, so you don't have any washout and anything along those lines of the footing itself, uh, the foundation of the deck. So uh, another thing too that we are required for code is the bonding. Uh, as you can see around the pool, there's four points of contact in the pool bonding that we connect to that's tied to the rebar for at first stages at the dig once we steal it. Uh, another point of binding is at the steel. Since they are se separate stealing uh, sections of the pool, they do have to have five points of binding in every pool spa. Every pool has four. Uh, so pretty much, you know, other than that, it's, you know, like I said, once everything, the footer's poured past inspection, we pour it, uh, then the decking goes on uh, after that. Stay tuned for more Home Sweet Home presented by Superior Pools. Based on tile, Tampa Bay's largest selection of natural stone. Specializing in travertine and marble, both for interior and exterior use, with over 20 million square feet of revolving stock, we're sure we have your project covered. Check out one of our exclusive products, such as tiramisu. Travertine, your ideal pool deck material, does not retain heat. Therefore, it's cool on your feet during those hot Florida months. Durability? Remember, it will outlive us all. Check out our newly renovated showroom in Orlando or our brand new 100,000 square foot showroom and warehouse in Tampa. Enjoying the outdoors is what living in Florida is all about. And at Absolute Aluminum, we're in the business of making your outdoor living dreams a reality. We can transform your space into a stunning retreat with open view cages, adjustable pergolas, outdoor kitchens, and many other products. Everything we do is completely custom, maximizing your space to fit your project with our extensive design capabilities. Contact us today or visit our showroom located in Venice, Florida. 
Superior Pools of Southwest Florida have been building pools in Florida since 2001 and have constructed over 5,000 pools. From Sarasota to Naples, we are recognized as a top pool builder and number one in customer service and have been voted to have the number one pool in the world the last two years. A pool signifies relaxation and our superior designs and execution will provide you with true luxury living. Visit our Fort Myers office, serving Lee to Collier counties, or our Port Charlotte office, serving Charlotte to Manatee counties. Join the rest, build with the best. Contact us to start building your dream pool today. So Lee, um, first, I just wanna um, ask you, when you first get to a job, what is you know one of the first things that you're doing when you come and do a layout? Well, the first thing is to find the elevation to set the uh, shell. Mm -hmm. And like in this case, we have to find it from the sliding door. Like you, as you can see, there's uh, old pavers in here. So we're gonna remove that pavers and we're gonna set new travitin. So we have to go from the highest point of the uh, lanai here to set because this is how the water is going to run. So in this case, we're going to run the deco drain along straight. So we're going to put the highest point and the shell the same level. So the water is going to run towards the deco drain and it's going to run from the lanai to the deco. So basically what you're saying is when you set the new travertine down, your highest point, the house is going to match up with the high point of your coping. So when water's pitching away from the, from the pool, water's pitching away from the coping to the drain and from the house to the drain. To the so drain. we don't have anything pitching back towards the house. Exactly. Perfect. And this style coping, Lee, what is this, six by 12? This is a six by six coping that we need this guy's installing right here, like you guys can see. This is a- six Shell Beach. Shell Beach uh, mm -hmm. travel team that is yes. gonna install. Perfect. And here, and uh, like you guys can see, we have uh, two raised area in here. Uh, we have uh, this force raised area, they have uh, one by twos here. This is only for the reflect when, you know, we, the water's in the pool, got more vision. And uh, we are setting this is for uh, water features, you know, that's going to flow into the water. We are adding two to it. This is one elevation and we have another elevation here that is the spa here, but this spa is going to take a different bigger coping. It's going to be the same coping, but it's just going to be a bigger, bigger size, coping, bigger 16 size. inch. And the reason why, because this beam is a lot bigger. It's an 11 inch beam compared to a six inch beam on your pool shell. Also too, want to point out the different style tile that we're putting in, the waterline tile. We're doing a two by four tile. Normally our waterline tile is a six by six. Well, in this case, the homeowner decided to want to go with the glass tile. So what we did here is, he, you know, he chose to go with a two by four inch um, water tile line to equivalent to that six by six, if that makes any sense. And it's just a different look and a different feature for it to pop because your eyes are going to be drawn to that raised area. So you got two different raised areas with, you know, this beautiful tile. So it just really pops and when you put the water in the pool, I mean, it's just, I mean, it's going to glimmer. It's going to look real beautiful. What we wanted to show you guys too on, on this pool, the homeowners decided to go with a six by 12 coping and a 16 inch um, coping on the beam. Um, there's different size uh, copings that we can go. We can go with a straight edge or a bull nose. Um, you have a 12 by 12 coping, you got a 6 by 12, and you have 12 by 24. Well, in this case, to show you guys, we're going with the 6 by 12 on the, around the pool and on the raised area. And over here on the spa, we're going with the 16 inch uh, coping. And the reason why is because the beam is just a lot wider. You know, with us, we do 11 inch beam on all of our, on all of our spas. Um, so it's just a, a, a bigger size spa. Um, everything's pre-plumbed with the nice one by two um, glass tile on the spillway and it ties in with the uh, raised area on the back side of the pool, which transitions to a different uh, glass tile underneath the pool shell coping. It's just a different, different feature. It's not a six by six tile, it's a uh, two by four, okay? Um, it's a different look, it's a glass tile and it just sets it off compared from the pool to the raised area to your spa.
Yeah, how you doing today? Uh, we're here at the Toomey residence showing you the final stages of building a pool. All right, well, we are here with uh, Gerardo Castro. How you doing, Gerardo? Doing That's good today? Uh, he's our lead foreman. He runs our tile, coping, and plaster division for Superior Pools. So we're going to talk a little more about the finished product here with the plastering. So Gerardo, you kind of, obviously, you're the lead guy on it. Uh, you tell me kind of the steps and what kind of goes all into it, the plaster, what we need, what needs to be done, the correct way to do it, and just the final touches and the precision work that you, goes into everything you do for a plaster. Well, we, uh, we just start here, put the plaster in. It's a Caribbean blue color. We just got to try right now. We're ready for uh, expose with uh, one in a little bit. We do uh, our job by wheelbarrow. We don't use pump to pump it out. You know, a lot of different companies does different ways. That's the way we do this. We got to wait until expose everything and show all the, all the pebbles, you know. This is the final stuff we put here. So it's very important to try real good and uh, tie real nice around the towel. That way it prevents a lot of uh, leaks and problems. So we got to keep trying and make it smooth. That way it's not uh, rough in there. But uh, yeah, this is a really important step. That's the last step, so we gotta make sure everything is nice and, uh, and uh, perfect, I mean. Yep, so right now, like I said, right now they're kind of waiting, just doing a little final touch work on the trial uh, once they applied it all. Once it dries, you know, it's tough enough where they're actually gonna take a wand and wand wash it, which actually exposes the pebble. So we're gonna take part of that aggregate off and expose the pebble, so you kind of get that pebble finished look to it too as well. As you can see, uh, our main trial guys are in the pool right now, just doing a little finish up touch up work. We have our mixer guy over there in the corner. He's just doing the cleanup and all that. So everything's already mixed up. Uh, but yeah, we're pretty much at this point in stage. We're just kind of waiting, let it dry a little bit longer. Then we're gonna wand wash it and expose the pebble. Then tomorrow we'll be back to do an acid wash and power wash on the material. Uh, once that is complete, we then uh, just put the hose in it, fill it up. Then uh, the next step would be uh, Josh will be doing the startup process on it, uh, which we're gonna show you here shortly. Stay tuned for more Home Sweet Home presented by Superior Pools. Enjoying the outdoors is what living in Florida is all about. And at Absolute Aluminum, we're in the business of making your outdoor living dreams a reality. We can transform your space into a stunning retreat with open view cages, adjustable pergolas, outdoor kitchens, and many other products. Everything we do is completely custom, maximizing your space to fit your project with our extensive design capabilities. Contact us today or visit our showroom located in Venice, Florida. Superior Pools of Southwest Florida have been building pools in Florida since 2001 and have constructed over 5,000 pools. From Sarasota to Naples, we are recognized as a top pool builder and number one in customer service and have been voted to have the number one pool in the world the last two years. A pool signifies relaxation and our superior designs and execution will provide you with true luxury living. Visit our Fort Myers office, serving Lee to Collier counties, or our Port Charlotte office, serving Charlotte to Manatee counties. Join the rest, build with the best. Contact us to start building your dream pool today. Baystone Tile, Tampa Bay's largest selection of natural stone. Specializing in travertine and marble, both for interior and exterior use, with over 20 million square feet of revolving stock, we're sure we have your project covered. Check out one of our exclusive products, such as tiramisu. Travertine, your ideal pool deck material, does not retain heat. Therefore, it's cool on your feet during those hot Florida months. Durability? Remember, it will outlive us all. Check out our newly renovated showroom in Orlando or our brand new 100,000 square foot showroom and warehouse in Tampa. How you doing? My name is Josh Klein. Uh, I've been with Superior for 10 years now. I'm the manager of the startup process uh, after the uh, plaster is done. And this is... My name is Patrick Klein. Uh, I've been with Superior going on eight years now. I uh, supervise our pool service division, warranty division. Um, right now we're here to talk about the startup process. Um, Josh is gonna kind of explain what goes into that. Um, what's kind of the first step you know, to all this? Well, the first step when we come, uh, we do prime the pump. Uh, we keep the pump, we don't hook it up to the automation yet because the pump does run continuously for the first three to four days. Um, we start up the pool 
hot, which means with a good amount of acid. The rule of thumb is this is about a 13,000 gallon pool. So the rule of thumb is you can take half of that, which I would guess is about six gallons, and we take two off, so I add about three or four gallons of acid to this pool with one quart of Jack's Magic Magenta, which is a staining and scaling preventative, which helps in the 30 to 35 day startup process. A material usually takes about 21 days to cure, so that's why we wait three and a half weeks to start the salt. So this pool will be a chlorine pool for the first three and a half weeks. After that three and a half weeks, that's when we'll start the salt system. And then when the 30 to 35 days is over with and everything is programmed, that's when we would do a full pool school with the homeowners, which we teach them about the equipment, chemicals, taking care of the pool. Uh, during this process, the startup process, we do come twice a week. <clears throat> we brush, we clean the filter, we check chemicals, we add chemicals. We do not leave that up to the homeowners because most homeowners, this is their first pool, so they would have no clue how to take care of it. So we leave that up to us. Um, but it is recommended that the homeowners brush the pool once a day for the next 30 to 35 days, as much as possible. Um, if they can't, we also install a robot, which we keep in there for two weeks, which helps brush and help vacuum as well too. Now, I know there's some parts here on the outside that you cut down and everything to kind of keep with the water level, so that way we don't have to worry about it overflowing. Yeah. Um, now, there is, there's an inch and a half pipe that you can't see right now out there, but that connects to your main drain at the bottom. When the guys fill up the water, they plug that hole down there. But the pipe inside, there's shell, then our pipes, and then shell. And in the sucker line, we have slits in it. So if anything in the future, if we had to drain this pool, or I'm not sure if you guys saw it in the plaster segment before this, but they have a pump that they hook up there. And what that does is that pumps out the groundwater. So the groundwater doesn't push the pool up out of the ground, then we run into some serious problems if we do that. So that's for future reference too. We have a two inch pipe out here that has a hole on the side of the pool right there. That's your overflow. That's a draining mechanism. So what we're gonna do is the water in the pipe and the water in the pool are at the same level. So I cut that pipe outside there down to the water and I put a T on there. So if it rains or somebody forgets the hose in the, in the pool and the water fills up, it's gonna drain out back down to the level it is now. So it's an automatic drainage system. We also have an inch and a half pipe out here that we cut down and we, we install a T. What that is, that's your spa airline. So what it does is you have water that's in that pipe right now. When they isolate their spa to turn on their jets, it sucks the water from that pipe, sends it through the jets, but that airline keeps the suction going and it sucks the air from outside, sends it through the pipes, and that's how you get your bubbles in the spa jets. What we do here, uh, when we start it up, Normally when we add acid, we'll scoop a bucket of water out, add the acid into the bucket of water, then pour it into the pool. When we first start a pool up, we add the acid straight to the pool because we want it to affect it right away. That's one of the main reasons why the pump will run for the first three or four days continuously because we don't want all that acid to sit in that pool. We do want the pool to be a little on the acidic side, we like to call it, which I kind of tend to not like to use that word because sometimes it scares homeowners. But by keeping it acidic, we also, that helps from preventing any scaling or staining or anything that the material, the bacteria, the metals, anything that's trying to stick to that new plaster, that acid is gonna help break that up and keep it moving. Um, another reason why we don't put the eyeballs on the returns yet is because anything that's inside those pipes as far as shells, dirt, anything from the construction process, we want to flush out before we put the eyeballs in. So that's why we keep the eyeballs out and that's one of the main reasons why the pool runs continuously. Now we're here to kind of explain about the pump and stuff. Now in the startup, the only thing that we actually get going today is just the pump. As Josh was explaining inside that, you know, we kind of wait a few days to let everything circulate before we get everything going. Now. See, you have your water temp sensor here, okay, which eventually will have it to where the heater runs off the easy touch system and everything like that, okay? You got your filter. This we clean out uh, every time we come during the startup process to, to anything that's going through there, you know, we wanna make sure we get it out. Um, you have your bio shield, um, which that will kind of get going towards, you know, the end of the three weeks as well. And you'll see 
these check valves throughout the system. And the reason for that is, is so when everything shuts off, we don't want chlorine that the salt system is producing to kind of sit in the heater or anything like that. You'll see kind of along this back, we have all of our valves. So that way we can control the, the suction from the skimmer or the main drain, how much water is coming out of the spa or the return, stuff like that. Now you'll see on top, we have our actuator valves. Now that actually controls whether the pool is in spa mode or if it's in pool mode. So when they're using their phone, this is how they're actually gonna control it is by those two valves. Then you see we have our uh, IC40 salt cell, which actually produces the chlorine. You know, Josh will get that going about the third week. We kind of leave that unplugged until we're ready to get the salt up uh, and get that up to the correct parts per million. Now you've gotten an inside look on some of our main construction phases from plumbing to footer, tile, coping, plaster, and startup. Here at Superior Pools, we start on average four pools a week, which means we have anywhere from 15 to 20 projects going at one time. Thank you for joining us for season three of Home Sweet Home Superior Pools. We look forward to seeing you for season four. If you're interested in having a pool built by Superior Pools, please visit www.superiorpools.com. Sweet Home, presented by Superior Pools, would like to thank our sponsors. Enjoying the outdoors is what living in Florida is all about. And at Absolute Aluminum, we are in the business of making your outdoor living dreams a reality. We can transform your space into a stunning retreat with open view cages, adjustable pergolas, outdoor kitchens, and many other products. Everything we do is completely custom, maximizing your space to fit your project with our extensive design capabilities. Contact us today or visit our showroom located in Venice, Florida. Baystone Tile, Tampa Bay's largest selection of natural stone. Specializing in travertine and marble both for interior and exterior use, with over 20 million square feet of revolving stock, we're sure we have your project covered. Check out one of our exclusive products such as tiramisu. Travertine, your ideal pool deck material, does not retain heat. Therefore, it's cool on your feet during those hot Florida months. Durability? Remember, it will outlive us all. Check out our newly renovated showroom in Orlando or our brand new 100,000 square foot showroom and warehouse in Tampa. Superior Pools of Southwest Florida have been building pools in Florida since 2001 and have constructed over 5,000 pools. From Sarasota to Naples, we are recognized as a top pool builder and number one in customer service and have been voted to have the number one pool in the world the last two years. A pool signifies relaxation and our superior designs and execution will provide you with true luxury living. Visit our Fort Myers office, serving Lee to Collier counties, or our Port Charlotte office, serving Charlotte to Manatee counties. Join the rest, build with the best. Contact us to start building your dream pool today.